All right, so this is another type of battery tester. This one here applies a smaller load. It's got a calibrated display here. Again, it's an analog display. You can see the elements in the back through the mesh, the air flows to keep it cool, but essentially it's just a toaster. It's applying cur or allowing current to pass through the element and it's gonna create heat, applying a load to the battery. There's a load switch on the bottom of this tester and you simply apply the load for 10 seconds and you read where it comes down. We're gonna read the top scale right here because it's a thousand cold cranking amp battery. And ultimately what we wanna do is see that it doesn't drop into the red, it stays in the green ideally. This scale, because of the way this one is, it's not a high load scale. And so since this is a smaller load, it's not gonna allow 500 amps through. We would expect our voltage to stay higher. So don't be caught off guard by the idea that since I said, or the general rule is 9.6 volts, this one actually says, well, if it's green, if it's good, it's gonna be above 11 volts. That's just due to the fact that this is a lower load or a lower current passing through, and that's gonna drop our potential less. So we're gonna apply the load for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And we're gonna see that the always stays above pretty much 11.4 volts. And so what this tester does with the limited amount of load, it is warm over here. With the limited load it puts on, it's saying even with that less load, it should stay above 11.2. We stated 11.4. So that tells us that this battery in its present state is good to return back to service. If you had seen the other video, it's the same battery in the same state of charge as we did with the carbon pile. So both this compact tester and the carbon pile came up with the same result. We can return the battery back to service.